And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. All right, final snowfall totals right in this zone here, right in the heart of the area. Totals will, were generally anywhere from 1.2 inches, as reported from the co op observer at Flora, to as much as nearly three here at the TV station. A Kokoros observer had an inch and a half to 1.8 inches. Far northwest Tippecanoe County, Marty and Otterman had two and a half. But it's the outer fringe that had the greatest amount 3.7 at Wheatfield, five at Akron, four at Amboy. We had four here in eastern Clinton County near Frankfort, and then a pocket of four and four and a half inch amounts down here in Montgomery County. So it's kind of the uh, northern, eastern, and southern outer shell that had higher totals, whereas in the heart of the area, 1.2 to 3 inches, very common. Clear skies, temperatures tank this evening as winds go calm with a snowpack, 7 at 11. We're headed for 6, then temperatures start to rise. We go partly cloudy, but wind chills near zero despite a south wind coming in. And this is the monster storm that's over uh, near western Alaska and the Aleutian Islands, left from that typhoon that was out in the Pacific. And this is a big driver of the Arctic air into the lower 48. Again, big trough here, ridging here. It's warmer up here at Yellowknife in the Northwest Territories than it is down here in our area. They had highs in the low 20s up this way. So the cold air has been dumping, even a little mixed precip down deep into South Texas today, where temperatures were only in the 30s at Brownsville, Texas, and Matamoros, Mexico, after 80s yesterday. 4 to 11 will do it for lows tonight, then gradually rising. We'll break the record low of 9 set in 1986. 32 late tomorrow evening. It becomes cloudy. It's going to be a windy day, so wind chills, single digits to teens throughout the afternoon with highs generally 30 to 33 again by later tomorrow evening. Most of the day we're going to be in the 20s. Thursday, 34. Mostly cloudy, not quite as much wind, but wind still running uh, enough to warrant wind chills in the 20s over the area. 32 to 36 will do it viewing area wide. Now, on precision cast, some increasing clouds tonight. There are all the clouds tomorrow. A wave of some scattered snow showers comes through tomorrow night. Biggest concentration in our north. Maybe even a little patchy light freezing drizzle in places, too. We may have a light dusting of snow in some areas. And then it's just mostly cloudy on Thursday before we clear out. And Thursday night looks frosty with some patchy fog, lows in the teens to around 20. Lots of clouds early next week, but then it warms up in a big way. Big storm right here will pump the warmth northward. And I'll tell you what, once we get beyond the early middle part of next week, I think as we get closer to Thanksgiving, we're going to have some days where it gets into the low 60s. I mean, it's really going to flip in a big way here in a fall and winter of extremes. 36 Friday, 39 Saturday, but 50s Monday and Tuesday. We'll likely see some rain that looks like now at the end of next week, but boy, is it get quite warm at the end of next week as well. In fact, some of the overnight lows as we approach Thanksgiving may only be in the low 50s. So, wow. Um, we're, it, we're it's like, like doing a 180. Yeah. yeah, hold on. Okay, yep. thanks, Jed. Uh, Republican presidential candidate.